Hey, are you sleeping again? You lazy sloth of a woman. You still didn't clean up the mess from breakfast. You left the dishes in the sink, the crumbs on the table, and the milk on the counter. How hard is it to put things away after you use them? Ugh, I'm so sorry. I was just about to get started on it, I swear. I've been feeling so under the weather. I haven't been able to move for a little while. I think I have a fever and a headache. I don't know what's wrong with me. Just get it done. Are you telling me that you've been lounging around in your ass doing nothing this whole time? Me and Kelsey had breakfast at 7.30 a.m. That's all three hours ago. Christina? Three hours! Do you have any idea how long that is? That's enough time to clean the whole house, not just the kitchen. Oh, I'm being serious, Emmanuel. I'm in a lot of pain here. I'm on my period and I feel awful. To be honest, I've been finding it difficult to move since I got up this morning. My body is aching all over. My back is killing me and my stomach is cramping like crazy. You think being on your period gives you the license to sit around and do nothing all day? Tell me, how exactly do you think you'd be able to get by if you weren't a stay-at-home housewife? Women go to work on their periods all the time. They don't let a little blood stop them from doing their jobs. Wake up and smell the coffee, you lazy slob. You? You're lucky you don't have to go to work. All I ask is that you keep the house tidy and make me happy. But no, you can't even do that. You're useless. If there was anyone as lazy as you at my company, they'd get fired before they knew what hit them. You should be grateful that I'm supporting you and giving you a comfortable life. Emmanuel, please. Periods affect every woman differently. There may be people who don't get any symptoms and can carry on working as normal. But I'm not so lucky. I get stomach cramps. I throw up randomly. It's hard to move. It's not something I can control or predict. It's just how my body reacts. Sometimes it's mild, sometimes it's severe. This time it's really bad. You're the first person in my life who says that they can't move because they're on their period. <laughs> you know what? It'll be comical if it wasn't turning the house into such a mess. You speak as if it's common knowledge, but I've never seen it. And I've never heard of it. You're the only one who acts like this. Half of the employees at my company are women. You'd think I'd have heard of it by now if there was any truth to what you're saying. No matter how you look at it, what you're saying is suspicious and it doesn't add up. Are you sure you're not making this up as an excuse to be lazy? Obviously you haven't heard of it. That's not surprising at all. You think women like talking about this kind of thing? The girls at your company are hardly going to go around the office giving detailed updates on their nether regions to their male co-workers. They probably suffer in silence or take some painkillers and hope for the best. But that doesn't mean they don't feel anything or that they enjoy working while bleeding. They just do what they have to do because they have no choice. Ah, oh, goddammit, woman. Whatever, I'm done listening to your pathetic excuses. The thing that annoys me the most about your attitude is that now Kelsey is suffering as a result of these alleged period pains of yours. Do you know how hard she's working with her studies at school? I've never seen a kid as diligent as her. She even turns down invites to hang out with other kids to do homework. She's always studying, reading, or doing some extracurricular activity. She's aiming for the top universities and scholarships. She's making me proud every day. The least she should be able to expect in return is a warm meal and a tidy house to come home to. 
But no, you can't even give her that. Your own daughter. You dare call yourself a housewife? Aren't you embarrassed? Why don't you try thinking about your daughter instead of yourself for a change? You sorry excuse for a woman. <laughs> Emmanuel, please. It's not like I don't want to cook or do the housework. It's just there are times where my medicine doesn't work and no matter how much there is, I feel so awful. I literally cannot get out of bed. I'm not doing this because I want to. I promise you I'm not. I love Kelsey more than anything in the world. I want to make her happy and support her dreams. But sometimes I just can't physically do it. Sometimes I need rest and some understanding. Wait a sec. This can't be real. You're not actually getting mad at me, are you? You've got some nerve. How dare you speak to me like that? I am the breadwinner in this household, and what are you? A lowly stay-at-home housewife. And a failed one at that. Your job? No, your reason for existing on dessert is to provide for me and Kelsey, and to see that we are happy at all times. What value do you have if you can even do that? You should be thanking me and worshipping me for putting up with you and your laziness. Emmanuel, please, will you just listen to me? Can't you just try to understand my period pains? Won't you please try to understand that I'm not doing this because I want to? You've been so horrible lately. What happened to you? You used to be so kind and caring. You used to love me and respect me. You used to hug me and kiss me and tell me everything was going to be okay. What changed? Why are you so mean and cruel now? What happened to you? Shut up, you shrieking banshee. You need to stay quiet and obey my orders at all times. You need to stop causing problems for our daughter. Do I make myself clear? She doesn't need a mother like you. She needs a mother who can cook, clean, and take care of her needs. She needs a mother who can be a role model and an inspiration. She needs a mother who can be a partner and a friend. Not a mother who lies in bed all day and complains about her period. Why can't you understand? Listen to you, you're like a child. And there I was thinking I married a grown woman. Everyone feels a little under the weather from time to time. That's no excuse to slob around in bed and on the sofa day in and day out. How long have you been a woman at this point? You'd think you'd have the basics down by now. Stop blowing things out of proportion like some whining, baby, and fulfill your duties. Suck it up and do your job like the rest of the human race. Do not answer me back this time. This conversation is over. Go and check the documents I left in my study. They're on the left side of my desk. Get it done now. Hey, slothy. Are you there? Answer me. Good grief. You're not lazing around in bed because of those pathetic period pains, are you? I'm at the hospital. I was rushed here in an ambulance. Huh? What the hell are you talking about? I collapsed with excruciating period pains and couldn't move or get back up. Are you a moron? What the heck is wrong with you, woman? Since when did that kind of thing happen with period pains? You're talking crap and you know it. You called an ambulance over that? We're not insured, you idiot. Will you be paying for this? Of course you won't. Do you have any idea how much this is going to cost me? Not only that, but there are people who need ambulances far more than you do. There's probably someone out there suffering unnecessarily right now because of you. 
Stop wasting other people's valuable time and money over your proxy period pains. I didn't call the ambulance. Someone saw me and rushed over. I was at the laundromat when it happened, doing guess what? Washing the suit of someone with absolutely no understanding of period pains whatsoever. You've got some cheek, woman. Do not disrespect me like that ever again. Feeling all bold because you got carried away in an ambulance, are we? Don't think that there won't be consequences to this. It's plain as day, you're lying about the period pains. You probably just want the attention, don't you? You're sick. If there is genuinely something wrong with you, just grit your teeth and push through it like a normal human being. Yeah, cause that's totally possible. I can just get rid of these crippling pains through sheer force of will, right? Why didn't I see it before? Why don't I just pull a rabbit out of a hat while I'm at it? It would have helped if I had my medication, but I couldn't find it anywhere. In spite of that, I felt so awful about letting Kelsey down lightly that I pushed myself beyond my limits. And then, well, here I am. Oh, your meds? <laughs> I threw them in the trash where they belong. You did what? I threw away all your stupid medicine. Do your job without it. Think about it. You end up not being able to move, even when you take them. So what good are they? If they don't do anything, why do you bother wasting money on them or putting them into your body? You're a disgrace. You actually did that? Fine. I'm throwing you in the trash too, then, Dad. Huh? Who is this? Kelsey. Your daughter, Kelsey. Huh? But Kelsey is at school right now. What the heck are you talking about? If you're Kelsey, then what was the discussion we just had? Makes sense, woman. <laughs> I get it. You're trying to confuse me. You're trying to mess with my head, aren't you? Just what the hell is your endgame here? Do you have any idea who you're messing with here? What I'm capable of? This is not a fight you want to start, I assure you. I only had school in the morning today. I got a call from the hospital telling my mom had been rushed away in an ambulance. I went over as soon as I could. I'm chilling with mom in the hospital ward right now. She's resting after they gave her some painkillers. Huh? What? Is that really you, Kelsey? No, wait. It can't be. This is your mother's number. I mean your number, Christina. You think you can outwit me? I invented the concept of outwitting. I am he who outwits. <laughs> wow, Dad. Are you really like this? I'm speechless. I saw Mom's phone flashing when one of the nurses was passing me her belongings. When I saw your name, I thought I'd better reply to let you know what was going on, so I opened the message. When I did, I saw all the horrible stuff you were saying. Is this how you always treat mom? I can't believe you speak to her like this. Don't you love her? How could you? Why am I the bad guy here all of a sudden? Surely you saw your mother's disgraceful attitude too. Not cooking for us and then blaming it on her period pains, staying in bed for days at a time? I don't even have to tell you. How much housework have you had to do lately, Kelsey? Do you think it's acceptable? There's only one person to blame here and it's not me. She's been causing you more trouble than anyone. What? She's not causing me any trouble at all. So I have to do the housework one or two times a month. So what? I honestly couldn't care less. Besides, mom's always cooking delicious meal for us, cleaning up after us, making sure our clothes are clean and fresh, bringing us drinks, baking us cookies. She's a star. Surely, it's basic decency to let her rest on the rare occasion she's not feeling her usual self due to period pains. Basic decency? Sheesh. Give me a break. You're putting me in a difficult position as your father here. 
you're going to get hit by a ton of bricks when you go out into the real world and realize it's not as kind and forgiving as those naive ideas you got in your head. No, the only one in a difficult position here is mom. How exactly are you the victim here? Her period pains are almost unbearable even when she takes her medicine. But you were actually spiteful enough to throw that away too. As if she wasn't stressed enough already. You do nothing but insult and abuse her. You two are supposed to be a team, but all you do is attack her. You're just a sad little bully. Is it any wonder she collapsed? It's your fault this happened. It's your fault. Mom is in the hospital. I don't need a dad who makes my mom suffer like this. So you can just get lost. What's the point in having a dad who isn't there for his family when they need him more than ever? We're done. We don't want anything to do with you anymore. Hey, Kelsey. How are you? I hope you're doing just as well, honey. I've been wondering if you might be ready to have a conversation with your father yet, my little sweetheart. Do you think it might be possible for us to sit down and have a heart-to-heart -heart discussion? Oh, by the way, the breakfast you made me today was so delicious. It was absolutely delightful. You truly have a knack for cooking. I can't express how much joy it brought to me. It truly made my day. What exactly do you want? Instead of inundating me with your overly affectionate and somewhat cringe-worthy chatter, perhaps you could consider offering an apology to my mom. Me? Apologize? But why? What exactly have I done wrong? Your mother's collapse was due to her menstrual cramps, not anything I did. If that's your stance, then I don't see any reason for us to continue this conversation. No, please don't go. Just hold on for a moment. There's something important that I need to discuss with you. What is it? I noticed that both of you seem to be packing up your belongings. Are you planning a vacation or something similar? We're packing because we're moving out. Moving out? But why? Isn't it a bit harsh to leave your old man out of your plans like this? We're not going on a vacation, Emmanuel. We're moving in with our grandparents, mom's parents. You mean you're moving to your maternal grandparents' place? Yes, that's correct. We've decided that we no longer want any association with you. Therefore, there's no point in us continuing to live under the same roof as you. Wait a minute, just hold on. Don't rush into anything. Isn't this a bit of an overreaction? It seems like you're making a mountain out of a molehill. Overreacting? Which part of this situation do you believe we're overreacting to? The part where you were relentlessly tormenting mom while she was suffering from severe menstrual pain and even went as far as discarding her medication? Come on now, Kelsey. Menstruation isn't considered an illness, is it? It's a natural part of being a woman. They teach that in school, don't they? Every other woman in the world seems to be able to endure it without any issues. What makes your mother so special? The problem isn't her pain, it's her lazy and entitled attitude. Our mother is neither lazy nor entitled. And while menstruation might not be classified as an illness per se, there are conditions like dysmenorrhea and premenstrual syndrome that are indeed considered medical conditions. Sure. There might be some women who are barely affected by their periods. But on the other hand, in severe cases, there are some who suffer excruciating cramps and pains throw up and find it difficult to move. Wow, you know a lot about this. You're very well informed and knowledgeable. Heh, <laughs> that's my girl. I don't need your praise. Your compliments mean nothing to me. Besides... I shouldn't have to explain something like this to you in the first place. You should already know this basic information about women's health and biology. You and this conversation are both grossing me out. You're making me feel disgusted and nauseated. You're pathetic. Go do your own research. 
Okay, I can. I will. I'll investigate this all for myself. I'll look it up on the internet and read some articles and books. Really? You better had to. You better keep your word and educate yourself. I want you to really understand how much pain mom is in. If I do, do you promise not to leave me? If I learn more about this topic and empathize with your mom, will you stay with me? I guess that all depends on you, dad. It depends on how sincere and genuine you are. One thing's for sure though, there's no way I'm having anything to do with you if you carry on abusing mom like you have been doing all this time. Kelsey, sorry, but this is urgent. Huh? What is? My class is starting soon. It's my stomach. Oh my god, it hurts so bad. What is this? Uh, oh, I got it. I gotta go use the toilet. My stomach is killing me. It feels like someone is stabbing me with a knife. What is this? Oh no, I know what it is. I need to go to the bathroom right now. Ouch. I see. The Simpsons finally started. Huh? You know the milk I used for your breakfast this morning? It was like five days past the expiry date. What? Why did you do that? I wanted you to know what it's like to have period pains. Obviously, an exact reaction was always going to be impossible. So I went with what I thought would be the quickest way to give you unbearable stomach cramps. Symptoms differ from person to person, but it's not uncommon for people's guts to turn into a painful, explosive mess. Oh my, Kelsey, do you really hate me that much? Yes, I do. I hate you because you're horrible to mom. What happened to you? You never used to be like this. Oh, yeah. I found some book in your study. I think it was called How to Get Your Daughter to Like You. What was that all about? The part that said, The supreme commanding authority of the father should be tactfully understood by members of the household at all times. Was highlighted. Is this by any chance the reason you started being such a jerk to mom lately? Are you trying to play the part of the demeanoring husband? Where did you hear that term? Well, are you going to answer me? Well, um, I... The thing is, uh... Well, okay, maybe I was. There's no maybe about it. That's what you were doing, wasn't it? God, just stop this already. I gotta go to the toilet immediately. This can't wait. Let's talk about this when you get home, okay? Oh, Dad, wait. There's just one more thing. What? Am I right in thinking you always keep a little supply of medicine in the side pocket of your bag in case of emergencies? Yeah, why? It's common sense to have a stash set aside. You never know when you're going to need it after all. In fact, I had it set aside just for times like this. Thanks for reminding me, honey. I should be over in a jiffy. Your old man show you how it's done. About that, you see the thing is, I took it all out of your bag. I'm afraid you won't be taking any medicine today. What? You did what? What did you do with it? Where's my medicine? I threw it in the trash. You can endure this without medicine, just like you made mom. Kelsey, this is going too far. How could you be so horrible? Oh my god. You're right. It is horrible, isn't it? Just like what you did to mom. But this is only the beginning. Things are about to get a whole lot more horrible for you. Go on, pops. Show us how it's done. Show us how you can handle this pain without any help or sympathy. Ugh, jeez. What a dramatic little episode that was. The day after I got rushed to the hospital, my husband, who'd come home from work, got on his hands and knees at my feet and begged for forgiveness to tell the truth. I didn't understand what was going on at first and I was a little more than surprised. But Kelsey later told me everything she'd said to her dad as well as being indescribably proud of her, I felt a huge sense of relief. For all his faults, my husband genuinely does love his daughter more than anything in the world. I think receiving a stern telling off and an education in how to be a decent human being from her gave him the wake-up call he sorely needed. 
Even still, I wanted to check who he was actually apologizing to. I thought that if he said he was only doing it for Kelsey, I'd seriously have to think about whether me and him had a future together. But to my surprise, without even hesitating, he said calmly and clearly to my family, what's more, it looks like he actually did a lot of research into period pains. Due to his newfound understanding, he started happily helping out around the house and being super kind and compassionate towards me when I wasn't at my best. I'll never forgive him for all the awful things he said to me, but I decided to give him one more chance when he made a solemn promise to change his ways. Swearing never to treat me like that again? I know the concept of periods might be difficult for most guys to understand, and it's not like I want everyone on their period to be treated like damsels in distress, but at the very least, I did want my husband to understand what I was going through. Of course, I go out of my way to cause as little nuisance as possible to those around me, no matter how I feel. But I can't pretend I wasn't a little amused to hear about the trick Kelsey played on him without his medicine stash. All he had to rely on was his traditional Chinese medicine. His kooky aunt got him for Christmas one time, which, needless to say, didn't do much to stop the flow. It's unfortunate he had to go through such an ordeal to understand my situation, but I'm at least glad he does now. After being mercilessly scolded by his daughter, he finally gave up on trying to play the domineering husband, unable to cope with the disapproval. I'll never forget what he did to me, but he's currently in the process of desperately trying to regain my trust. He's never been this nice to me, and while it feels a little strange, I'm certainly not complaining.